probably have footage sitting on your hard drive right now that could be making you money online. We've all heard of uploading stock footage, but can you actually make money from it? And how much money do you make? Today, I'm gonna to take you through a little bit of my black box portfolio of clips that I've uploaded, clips that have made me money to give you guys a little bit of motivation and kind of explain how it really works. So I think I started this back in 2019 and have been uploading clips ever since. I haven't gotten too hard on it. Maybe there are a few months where I just go crazy and shoot a tons of drone footage, but I haven't been too I haven't been too consistent with it, but it has brought in a decent amount of money over the last few years. So I definitely want to try and get back into it and build it up a little bit more. There's plenty of sites where you can upload stock footage. The, the cool thing I like about Blackbox is you can actually upload the footage and they will distribute it to other companies. So they'll send it to Pond5, Shutterstock, Vimeo stock, Adobe stock, and I think I'm missing one more, but they basically upload it to all those other sites for you. The cool thing is as well is you can work with collaborators. So when you upload stock footage, basically you want for black box, you want to trim it um, to the perfect amount. I think it's anywhere longer than 10 seconds, less than a minute of just the clip. And then you want to give it a natural color grade. You don't want to leave it super flat. These are clips that people just want to download, use really quickly and move on documentaries and stuff like that so plenty of other sites sites out there there's like some higher quality ones like film supply film crate um art grid has some really good stuff too you can actually submit there as well but i'm going to be talking about black box black box is what i've had success in with my drone stuff so i'm going to be talking about that so you probably have footage either drone footage either b-roll footage either footage that you have model releases for, you can upload and you can start making money. You do have to apply to join Blackbox, so you have to send them some of your best work and then they will accept you. This pretty much goes for all stock footage sites. Um, so let me hop in and just show you how much I've made using Blackbox since 2019. It's not a crazy amount, but I just want you guys to see what I have done and what is possible with just uploading some of your clips. So here we go. This is what it looks like when you're logged into Blackbox. And the cool thing about Blackbox is there. One thing I really like about this is that it submits your footage to all sites. So I believe it submits to Vimeo stock, Pond5, Shutterstock, um, Adobe stock. So it's going to submit to all four or five of those sites for you. So you don't have to do that yourself. Um, that's really nice and convenient. That's one of the cool things about black box. Another cool thing that they do is you can actually collaborate with people. So if you don't want to spend the time, whether it's editing your footage, if you don't want to go through and edit your clips and uh, make selections, or if you just don't want to do the keywords, you, you can actually collaborate with someone and then you don't have to do any of that work. You have to give them a percentage. So every time your clip sales, they'll get a small chunk of change but this just helps save you time in the long run. And the cool thing about Blackbox is you still own your footage. So obviously you can't upload to the sites they upload to, but you still own your footage, so you still can upload it and do whatever you want with it as well. There are sites that have exclusivity, so if you, you have to sign a contract where you only upload to them. So make sure you look into that before getting into stock footage, but Blackbox, if you upload to them, you can you still own your footage you just can't upload to other sites don't take my exact word for it definitely read through the terms and conditions that they have that's my understanding of it so yeah let's dive back into the site so what you can see here is this is my total revenue to date um i have made three thousand two hundred and thirty three dollars off this so you can see so far this is in the past 90 days let's go ahead and do 2021 and let's let that update. So we can see right here, January I made $57. February I made 113. Uh, April I made 45. And you can see what was my best month. October made me a decent amount at $158. Once you upload, you continue to keep making money. Interesting thing too, is you can see people's recently submitted clips right here. So I mean, you see all sorts of type of clips. We got some cats. We got, what do we got here? We got some drone footage. So let's actually go into my earnings. So we can actually look at my past years too. 
So 2019, when I first started, I made $1,000. Um, you can see it started off fairly slow as I'm uploading. And then by the end of the year, I had some pretty good months. I had a really good month here. We'll look at that. December 2019, I made $452. So the cool thing about this is you probably already have footage chilling on your hard drives that you can upload. You can really upload anything, whether it's drone footage, footage of your friends, it's footage from your short film, it's B-roll that you got. Uh, lifestyle stuff the possibilities are endless I just kind of wanted to hop on here and really dive in to show you the numbers and what kind of possibility there is because I think I only have like 500 clips up right now um, and I think they even recommend like a thousand to actually start making decent money so I'm definitely trying to get back into this a little bit more and just have some more clips so let's dive in and see what's actually selling so this is what I made in 2019 in the month of October. So first clip I sold right here, this was a drone shot and I got $60 for this. So that's actually pretty good. And this is a shot of the cranes, simple drone shot, lots of fun. Um, yeah, pretty simple. I mean, and then, so the thing is what I did is I actually took the time and I did all my own keywords. Um, I'm not really gonna cover that. I basically, there's a tons of videos on how to do keywords for stock footage, but basically it's really describing the clip. So I probably named this clip Port of Oak um, Crane, Aerial View of Port of Oakland Shipping Yard. And then maybe in, um, on a sunny day, you just wanna get really descriptive and think of things that people are gonna search. And then in some of the keywords, I would maybe say something like, when watching this clip, I would say transportation, cargo, um, shipping, obviously Oakland, Port of Oakland. Um, and I would probably do some research, look up Wikipedia and look at some similar words, maybe even look up some similar things online. So you really wanna, you really wanna dive into those words because the more descriptive you can get, the better your footage can get found, which is really important. So you can actually hire people to do this and you could give them 15%, but some people are really thorough and are really good at getting clips sold so that's something to consider and it's really cool that you can do that with black box because if you're out shooting all the time and you don't have time to keyword you can totally hire someone um, and you can find all those people on the black box facebook page so i sold this clip it's of the oakland freeway it's a uh, tilting up um i probably got very specific of all the surrounding cities right here like emeryville oakland um freeway commute bay bridge um really just all the stuff going on right here Got some stuff, uh, a lot of drone stuff here. Um, got something, what is this? Big Sur Highway 1. Pretty cool shot behind this rock right here. Um, I'd love to redo this shot on a different day, see how it would look. Um, and it looks like I sold a good amount of Big Sur stuff. Just some more coastal stuff. I got a, what is this? A waterfall and some more rock stuff. So you can see the price varies. Sometimes you'll get a few dollars for a clip. It depends what rights they pay for it. And it also depends on what quality they purchase, whether that's standard, HD, 2K, 4K, um, maybe anything higher. It really varies on how much you can get paid. So let's go ahead and look at, so this is the month of December um, and it's pretty interesting. I actually have a January in here as well. I was actually making pretty good money off just this one clip. It's pretty crazy right there. $210 twice for one clip. I don't think you see that too often. I haven't gotten that in a while. And this is some clips of some wind turbines. Why did this do well? Well, because everyone wants to talk about renewable energy. You just kind of have to think of what stock footage clips people are going to want. And this was like just in the middle of nowhere along some commute I had onto a shoot and I saw all these and just thought it would be cool to film them. Uh, I went back after selling these and shot a bunch of more wind turbines. Every time, every chance I get, I love to shoot these. Anything renewable energy does good, like solar panels, um, anything like that. So you probably have some of this footage, even if you shoot music videos, if you have a drone, B-roll from that, even B-roll from your camera. While you're actually out shooting projects, you can actually like think about like, hey, like, I've even done it like if like I'm filming like a rat video, there's like some big turkey bags of weed. I'll even get like some shots of those because like cannabis, the cannabis, the cannabis 
industry, people are always making promos for that. So, I mean, if you can get some shots of like grow houses, weed, anything like that does really well. Um, you just kind of have to think and look what's out there. Even like very specific places. Um, I film like some state parks and like some areas around me that are very so specific and they do really well. Like um, this clip has sold a lot. It's of Shasta when the water was low. I think the water is even lower now. But that clip tells a story of the drought in California. So it's also about telling a story. Um, this Oakland freeway shot does pretty well as well. I just saw it and I was like, that looked pretty cool because there's just so many cars going in different directions. It's not, a, as you can see, it's not about how many clips you have, it's about the quality. Quality is probably the most important thing because if you have a really quality clip that keeps selling for $210, you're gonna be doing good. It doesn't really matter. But if you have a bunch of shitty clips that nobody wants, you're not gonna make that much money. So so definitely in stock footage, um, just looking at 2020, it looks like everything pretty, I mean, this is probably the pandemic was around here. So there wasn't that many sales, but it definitely picks up in the winter time. That's what it looks like. So October, November, December, January, February, uh, year to year kind of looks like it picks up around those times. So some clips that sold right here, you can see like I sold this clip for $3.34. They're all not gonna be winners, but it's better than nothing. Um, so let's go ahead and play that. And this is a super crazy clip, uh, popular um, road right here with all these windmills. I shot these and I did like a kind of like looking up type drone shot with them. Pretty epic, really pretty day. Um, yeah, I got $3 for that, so that's fun. I did a hyperlapse of the Golden Gate Bridge. That brought in $26, $21. This clip has continued to sell right here of the Bay Bridge. It just keeps selling. Not sure why. Uh, maybe it's just the angle looking back towards Oakland instead of looking towards San Francisco. I don't know. I also, maybe it's the keywords that I use. Probably use words like commute. Um, I'd probably have to look at it, but so yeah, look, I'm looking back in April and I sold that clip. I've probably sold this clip multiple times. So I definitely should look at the keywords that I've done. This clip just sells like crazy. Um, and a lot of these freeways, I was uploading these, um, these seem to do really well. So, I mean, if you have interesting, popular freeways in your city, anything with like travel and transportation, this is a pretty cool clip because you can just see all the different crossroads and people mobbing around driving so definitely interesting that that clip sold kind of random i could have even just been pointing my drone down while flying back to me so it you can really shoot anything i don't have too much stuff of people if you have people in yours you have to get model releases but that stuff does do well um there's other places you could submit to. Um, you can also submit to ArtGrid. That's a subscription base. So it's a little bit different how you get paid out. Uh, still works though. I just want to show you guys what is possible and I'm down to answer any questions. Definitely probably going to be making some more content on this. I actually got the Mavic 3 Pro Cine coming in soon. So I definitely want to make some videos on that and some tips, tricks, and shooting stock footage with that. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'm Tyler Casey. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.